Hey Bronco fans, I'm Lauren Matheson with iBronco. We're almost back here on the Mission campus and I got to catch up with a couple of the basketball players to talk about their conference run. I'm joined by Brandon Clark, Ray Cowles III, and Kevin Foster. Kevin, as a senior yourself, personally, I know how it feels to right. play in your senior season, last conference run. Uh, how ready are you for this game? Uh, you know what? This is always a big game for us. Uh, I mean, I heard we have a sold-out crowd and just ready to make it an exciting game for them. Right. Well, Ray, you have extra time to prepare for this game. Um, what's the team doing to prepare? Gonzaga. Um, you know, we have a little bit more focus, but we treat it, we come in treating it like it's a r normal game, you know. Um, it's a big game for us, but, you know, we've been doing well so far and we're going to keep up. And Brandon Clark, as a younger player between, you know, these two seniors, what's your focus been this winter break? Um, my focus has been just to uh, focus on the next game because coach emphasizes just worry about the next game, and that's all I've been doing. Hey, it's Denzel here. I'm here with Mark Trasolini, senior forward, senior forward. Mark, we got Gonzaga. We got Gonzaga tomorrow. You want to tell them about how stressful it is when everybody's telling, calling you about tickets, texting you. Is that is that stressful for you? Uh, a little bit. I got a lot of family coming tonight, um, but you know that's what it's all about. Playing in front of a big crowd. A lot of friends gonna be here. All the fans, the students. So. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun atmosphere tomorrow. Do you have like a system that you use like to determine who gets the tickets, like tic-tac-toe or something like that? You got a tournament going on, anything like that? I mean, I usually just bully the freshman or the underclassman. Oh, take his uh, tickets? And just take his tickets. Oh, so yeah. Nate Crash doesn't have any tickets for tomorrow? No, Nate definitely doesn't have any tickets. Okay, see, that's what I do is I just go any mini mini mo, yeah. and then whoever, you know, whoever gets out, is they just don't get a ticket. They got to pay. parents, though. Hey, that's, this is how it goes sometimes. Goes. Yeah, I never, I never really discriminate. Parents get it. And Anybody. I'm here with Evan Rockmore, teammate, friend, housemate, and our point guard. This year we've been playing really well offense, huge deal because of Evan. One of the things he's really doing well is his assist to turnover ratio. Evan, what can you tell me that you've been doing different this year that's really helped us propel our offense? I think I've been a lot more prepared for our games this year. I think our coaching staff has given us a great, great, great game plan to put in uh, effect, and I think that we've gone out and executed it perfectly. And now for a special Bronco moment, I'm joined by the West Coast Conference 2011 Defensive Player of the Year, Troy Payne. You may know him as T-Payne. Uh, Troy, let's tell us a little bit about the rivalry here between the Broncos and the Zags. The last time we played Gonzaga, uh, we came on top and we won. It was a great feeling. Uh, the rivalry, you know, goes back years and years. And I'm just looking forward to, you know, the Broncos to get a victory on the court tomorrow.